Hey, what's up? It's Steve, AKA the sign picker. And today I just got done mounting that signal to that post and I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay. This is a signal manufactured by McCain traffic supply. It's probably from about the seventies. Uh, and it once guided traffic in Gary, Indiana. It's a steel signal. It's not plastic. So it's a little, heavier than uh, plastic signals. Uh, and it also has this uh, steel slip fit mount on the bottom, which affixes it to the pole. It's what we call a 1288. That means that the top red signal is a 12 inch lens and the bottom two signals are eight inch lenses. The standard, today's standard is all uh, 12 inch lenses. So you don't see a lot of 1288 being manufactured today. This was kind of a multi-day project to get this thing mounted on this post, um, but it's really simple tools uh, that you could get from Lowe's uh, using a really sturdy PVC pipe. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, this guy needs about another coat or two of uh, paint. So while that's drying, it's really hot and humid, so it's taking a long time for it to dry. It might be a couple more days, hence all the outfit changes here. Uh, while that's dry drying, I'm going to go ahead and start bracing up uh, the wood on the wall that this will sit on. So in this corner, I kind of went back and forth as to whether I wanted the light to be offset or in the corner facing 45 degrees out or another angle but i'm deciding to go ahead and put the pole here and the light is going to be facing straight out uh, perpendicular to this wall the back will be flush to this wall and then that way it'll be the same alignment as all of my other stoplights these are the lights that i just recently hung above my sign shelf so then if you stand back everything will be uniform as you look uh, toward the wall. And if I decide that I don't like that, it's not too far off of the wall. I can always turn it at a little bit of an angle just to give it some, uh, some variance there. So what I've done is I want the light to be flush up against the wall and there are baseboards along the bottom of the wall. So the light's gonna have to be out about a quarter uh, or about a half of an inch. So I added this brace on the wall, which this post will lean up into, and then I will drill wood screws into this brace, which will then go into the stud behind the wall. Uh, I'll do the same thing down below toward the bottom of the post. I'll take another uh, wood screw, a thick wood screw, I think it's three eighths of an inch, and I'll drill it through this post and into the stud behind it. So here's the post after it's been painted. Uh, it's not perfect, but hey, once a signal's been out in the wild, uh, the post isn't perfect anyway. Uh, but what's nice about this PVC is it's about a quarter of an inch uh, thick so that's gonna be able to hold the weight of this signal pretty easily uh, this isn't very flimsy it's not gonna bend um, but on the back on one side of the PVC post you can see that the yellow did not cover up uh, all of the markings that uh, came on the PVC uh, which is fine because all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have that facing the back and I'll kind of use that line um, of text as a guide so essentially the middle of the type uh, right down the middle, you can see where there's some dashes here, uh, where the P, the middle of the P is, the middle of the E. That's going to be my guideline in order to drill all the holes on the back uh, that I need. So today I'm going to be drilling all of the holes into the post uh, to get this thing affixed from the wall. Now the post itself is 5 feet 1 inch uh, tall, so that's 61 inches, so it's not even 5 feet, so I'm going to have to accommodate for that. Uh, I've already got the um, board in the wall that will make it even here with the baseboard. Uh, that'll help just support it. Uh, so I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go in here. I have some holes to drill up here. Uh, I'm gonna drill about, oh, probably about a half inch hole to run the cord through that I can then run it along the wall uh, to plug it in. I'm also gonna drill this hole and I don't have it marked here, but I'm gonna drill the other uh, hole for the lag bolt that's going to 
hold it into the stud uh, behind the wall. The way this measures out is because this is 61 inches, uh, taking away that one inch if this thing was five feet. Uh, the slip fit is seven inches, so that means the cord hole is going to be down at eight inches. Uh, it's 12 inches from the top to the top of the base uh, behind the wall, and that board is about 16 inches. I'm gonna have a lag screw going right in the middle of that. And then I'm gonna do this other lag screw probably about, oh, I'd say anywhere from 16, uh, 18 or 24 inches up. I'll just, I'll just have to eyeball it once I get it up and running. So I finally got the light up. I just need to get it running. Now, of course, with any project, you run into some things along the way. I had power washed it ahead of time, so as soon as I put it on top of the light and started lifting it on top of the pole, water started dripping out from the inside, some rust-colored stuff. So I had to clean all that up. Uh, these cords uh, that these wire, that these lights are attached to are, are really thick and they're really stubborn. So my original plan was I'm gonna, I was gonna run the light uh, or the cord out of the back of the pole and run it to an outlet that I have over here. But the, it was so stubborn, there wasn't enough give for me to get the cord down into the PVC pipe and angle it out the back. So it, it, it needed some more flexibility. It's not that malleable. So I ended up having to drill a new hole down at the bottom to give it some slack, got it all the way down the bottom, used a handy uh, coat hanger tool with a hook at the end of it to get into there, hook the cord, pull it out, use some needle nose pliers to grab a hold of it once it got through the hole a little bit, uh, use the pliers to pull it through, and here we are. So what I have to do now is um, reattach the, uh, the household uh, plug that's at the end of this. I'm just gonna use a new one because this one is pretty frayed. I just cut all these wires here. So I'll strip the ends of them, rewire it up, uh, and then run a, just a standard household extension cord up to a uh, outlet that I have over here. So. Can't wait to see this thing lit up.